Are you overwhelmed by the different types of virtual reality headsets popping up in the market every now and then? Are you also confused with the various brands, models and the feature lists? And are you not sure which is the right fit for your application? Then this video is just right for you. Hi, vanakkam. My name is Dr. CSS Bharati. I am the founder of Fusion VR and I have been working with stereoscopic imaging and virtual reality technologies for nearly 2 decades. Today we are going to learn more about the different types of VR devices and how to choose the right one. Considering the intensity of this subject, I'm going to plan it as a multi-part series and this is part 1. Stay tuned. VR technology can be experienced in many ways. The choice of hardware depends on a the kind of content the user wants to experience and b the level of user interactions that is desired though there are various different models with various sensors and electronic components there are a few things that are common across all these devices and these are the parts that provide the essential functions of any basic entry level vr headset in order to make a more informed decision you should be familiar with how a typical vr device works understanding its parts and functions will help you in understanding the various categories of vr devices let's start with the types of virtual reality headsets based on their functionalities and capabilities they fall under four major categories first one is the standalone wireless vr headset second one is the pc powered professional headsets category third one is the hybrid virtual reality headsets and fourth one is the advanced special purpose VR headset. Okay, now let's see how a standalone VR headset works. Basically, standalone VR headset like Oculus Go from Facebook. This was released few years back. Uh, this kind of standalone VR devices have inbuilt storage and processing. This makes them unique from the other devices. So they are not depend on any external hardware. they are stand alone and there are no wires dangling here and there and let's see the advanced version of the stand alone vr headset this is aquest quest uh, there are also mod uh, models from htc and other brands uh, i don't have those models to showcase here but this again the stand alone vr headset all the processing and storage are inbuilt and this advanced uh, stand alone devices have the hand controllers so this makes them to make the interactions more interesting and more natural inside the vr space next one is the pc powered vr device basically aculus rift is the classic example and as you can see here there are cables which connects the headset to the pc and they also have hand controllers to interact third one is the hybrid vr headset classic example is aculus quest 2 though this is a stand alone uh, device this has a cable this has a cable which connects this to a pc so this become a hybrid device this can act as a stand alone device or it can be used as a pc powered device this also have the hand controller and the fourth category is next generation advanced special purpose vr headsets though the vr headsets of the near future are definitely going to have higher resolution displays improved optics with better field of view better graphics processing improved ergonomics and form factors there are also few additional sensor integrations to enable eye tracking facial tracking and heart rate tracking of the user which are going to create a paradigm shift in the way vr is used today device manufacturers like valve facebook and hp are having heavy focus in this area while valve has filed patents and facebook's project cambria is expected to be available by 2022 hp has already released its sensational vr device called hp reverb g2 omnicept with all these sensors integrated these sensors tracks the effectiveness attentiveness and concentration level of the user by the captured biometric sensory data 
The highly immersive enterprise targeted Project Cambria is going to be a VR, AR, MR all in one headset with the pass through mixed reality capabilities. These are just a glimpse of the exciting features of the different types of available and upcoming VR headsets. We will be talking more in depth about each of these categories in part 2, 3 and 4 of this video. Guys, I hope today you have learned something really useful. If you have anything that you want to have covered up or any questions in mind, please do me a favor. Leave them in the comments and I will definitely try to respond to them. Give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon of course. I will be happy to see them. Thanks again so much and see you all in my next video.